Well, 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 Clarence is back. In the dark caves beneath Firelink Shrine. Why was it, that the first thing Clarence did, was trust the first person he met who lives in a cave surrounded by huge skeleton monsters, and no light? This is what you get, oh, Clarence. Joke's on him, I've got a whole bunch of souls now. Please be careful. There are two of these hollows not far from here. Clarence met a princess who some guy had told him about months ago. He also met her companions in the dark. Oh, hey there, Patches. Yeah, how's it going? I'm back out of that pit. Blimey. How did you... <laughs> Clarence melted patches for kicking his hole into a hole. Well, didn't have to be that way, patches. Oh, I'm totally dead already. Clarence then returned down the hole to save the princess from these two oh, dicks. This, they're so good at fighting. Is there anyone left alive in your life? <laughs> Yeah, Having been in the darkness for so long, Clarence Clarence began to hear voices in his head speaking uh, to him. I see sanity slipping away. Ooh, maybe. Well, this is obviously a fake wall. Hiya! Called it. <laughs> okay, I'm dropping down. Dropping down again. Oh, I shouldn't have dropped down, I'm dead. The giant skeletons got the better of Clarence at every turn, yes. This was proving to be Clarence's biggest challenge yet. <laughs> Seriously, just look up that castle art, like, because it's it hovers above your head, so you don't need the school lantern. It's worth the detour. Said the voice Ooh, in Clarence's head. Yeah. By some contraption. But the voice in his head was not okay. through giving him advice and there. led him to a bonfire. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the door. Yeah. Now look for the like crumbling wall next to it. That's an illusionary wall. Huh? No shit. I'll probably uh, regret that, and then they'll go back. Oh shit! I've been a Ambushed. Get it? Ambush. <laughs> Something wrong with you. <laughs> Clarence was ambushed. The voice in his head did not approve. I'm going the totally wrong way. I'm fighting a butterfly now. Shit. Clarence was looking for the cast light spell. Oh. However, for some reason, he was now going fighting a butterfly. It's like going somewhere else. Where is it going? I don't know if this is right. Clarence, yeah. being so scary in his lion armor, scared the butterfly away. Back for round two, Clarence used some of the magic spells that he had learned recently and hacked at the butterfly's head until finally, Clarence was victorious. I broke a barrel and now I've broken physics. <laughs> Clarence did not know what to think about this. I don't broke the game. <laughs> Clarence drowned trying to fight the Hydra from way back in part 8 for a few seconds. However, upon returning, Clarence proceeded to cut off every head until one remained. Then he cut that off as well until Clarence was victorious. I did it. <gasps> the golem's here. Man, you would not believe what I have been through to get to you. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. After killing the golem, a spirit emerged. She then sold Clarence the cast light spell. Clarence could then see in the tomb of the giants, meaning that the area was easy from then on. Oh my god. 
That dog thing just killed me in like one go. Join us next time when Clarence destroys the rest of the gardens and then delves back into the big black caves.